Roswell Flight Test Crew here at CES 2016 Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm talking to none other than FAA Administrator Michael Huerta, and wow, sir, what an honor to be here with you. Hey, it's great to meet you. It's great to be here at CES. <laughs> wow, well, thank you, thank you. Now, I have a few questions for you about the whole drone registration process, which we're in the midst of right now. Starting with a lot of people in the drone community feel that this process came together very quickly and, and might argue that it was unfair to that community. I think the public comment period was only six days. What would you say to people who were concerned this wasn't done fairly to that broader community? Well, we didn't do it in a back room. We did this with an industry task force where we had people from all segments of the industry that were providing advice to us on how best to do this. And I think what you heard today from our industry partners is we made it simple, we made it easy, it's online, it's easy to operate, but it also enables us to provide really important safety information to people. And so we've got over 181,000 registered and I think that it's actually done pretty well in a very short period of time. What about the privacy of registration? I know there's a lot of concern that people are going to be able to look up, um, you know, the pe identify people online, get their home address, even teenagers. What would you say about those privacy concerns in the registry? Right now it's not searchable at all. And one of the things that we're looking at is searchability by registration number. But uh, we're very sensitive to this issue. And uh, we want to make sure that uh, we're not creating impediments to register. If people are concerned about privacy, that was a big uh, point of discussion with the task force. And that's something that we're going to continue to talk about. Outstanding. Okay. Well, some might feel this verges over into uh, what FEMRA 2012 cut out about not regulating model aircraft. What would you say to people who say that the FAA is exceeding its authority and trying to regulate model aircraft with this registry? No, the law is quite clear that all aircraft need to be registered. And in fact, AMA even encourages its members through community-based organizations to register in some way. And uh, we've made it simple, we have made it easy, and uh, what we're really trying to do is encourage compliance with this very important safety initiative. The AMA has asked its members to hold off till the February 19th, till the very last dead day to register. Do you have any idea why they've done that, or do you think it, what do you think it means for the registration process? Well, well, we certainly encourage them to register before then, uh, but we'll be ready with appropriate capacity in the registry to handle them on the 19th. And so we'd like to see them before then. If we see them on the 19th, that's great. <laughs> All right. Well, this is uh, the Roswell Flight Test crew from uh, uh, CES, where we've had the great fortune to talk to Administrator Huerte from the FAA. Thank you so much, sir.